Hello, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a page slash post using the Fusion Builder plugin. So of course, you will first have to have Fusion Builder plugin installed and activated. Once you do, what you're going to want to do is let's go ahead and make a new post. So come over here to post and click on add new. Once you're on this page, what you're going to want to do is click on edit with Fusion Builder. And it should take you to a page that looks like this. And now we can actually get started editing using Fusion Builder. So now we can start editing our page. The first thing we're going to want to do is click on add container here. Click on that. And you see we have a bunch of different ways we can start out editing our page or how we would like it to look. Do we want it one big page? Do we want to split into two, the thirds and fourths, and so on and so forth. But for now, we're going to keep it simple and just click on this very first one. And as you can see, we can either add another container or we can actually add columns to this container. You know, if I click on it, we can add new columns. Let's say if I wanted to add these, these right here, you see now I have a full one and now a half and a half, but we don't need these. So we're going to, for at least right now, we don't need these. So I'm going to get rid of them. So now to go ahead and get started, actually, you know, adding content to your page, what you're going to do is click on element. And now you can see there's plenty of different elements from you to choose from. You can add a blog, add a button, some code, a checklist, make a countdown, content boxes, add a gallery. But for right now, what we're going to want is a text element. So we're just come up here. We're going to type text in the search bar. And there it is, a text block. So just click on that. And it will open up a page that looks like this. And let's go ahead and add some text here. As you can see, we can also add a gravity form here or add a picture, but for now we're just going to add text. That's what I have and come down here and click on save. And now that text has been added to the container. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and click on preview to see what this page will look like. This is what it would look like at this very moment. But we're going to go ahead and add more to it. So let's go ahead and head back on over here. Let's click on, instead of adding another element, let's add some new columns. Let's click these two right here. And now we have these two separate ones. And we're going to go ahead and click on element. And again, there's tons of different elements for you to choose from. But I'm just going to add another text block. Go ahead and add it. Text, add that text. Save it. Do the same thing to this one. Find us a text block, say text, write the text that you want, hit save. And now these have been added to the page. So what we're going to want to do is click on preview to see what it looks like. And now this is what my page looks like because of the way that I set it up. So again, if you go back over here, we can just keep, we can add another container. Let's add a big one here. Let's go ahead and add this time. We'll do something different and we'll add a image. So go on that. We'll add an image. Uh, come on. Well, right here you would upload image. Um, let's go with this image right here. Click insert into post save. And now we can click preview. And now this is what our page looks like. This will bring an end to how to create a page slash post using the Fusion Builder. I suggest or I really encourage you to go through the different elements and see what would works best for you.